what New Old Seminelli has on their commercial line of espresso machines on all of their on their group heads is a chamber that um, is that is where your soft infusion happens. So I have an Aurelia group head here. Oh, okay. So that is the chamber that the soft infusion. So what happens is, is basically when your brew valve opens, water is going into that chamber. At the same time, water will trickle out of the chamber to your, your screen area, which this is missing the screen and diffuser, but that's your port coming out, your water, and it'll diffuse over your coffee. So while it is, <coughs> water is hitting your coffee it is not at full pressure yet until this chamber fills completely. Once the chamber fills completely, then you're at full pressure. So this gives it a nice, uh, gentle uh, shower onto your coffee and starts to saturate your coffee before we hit full pressure. Uh, and that will help in any inconsistencies you have in your tamp, like if you've tamped it a little bit sideways or you have some fissures in your coffee. It just gives the ch a chance for the coffee to swell and to soak before you hit it at full pressure. And therefore those um, minor inconsistencies that you have will not show in your actual brew. Okay, so I have a couple questions. Is the, so is the soft infusion on the Oscar or the Musica, the home model espresso it, machine? It is not. Okay, so it's only on the commercial larger machines. It's only machines. on the larger machines. Okay, and then my other question is, what's the difference between soft infusion and pre-infusion? It depends on who you talk to. Okay, I, well I but, know things are changing, but what is it typically? So what pre infusion is pre what we're talking about on pre-infusion is basically we're uh, opening up the brew valve for a second. Some machines are programmable on how long you can open the valve for, and then you're shutting the valve off. So you're pre-wetting. But it's at full. It's at, it's full. at full pressure, okay. and then you're shutting the valve. The problem with shutting the valve off is anything that you have pre-wet is going to be sucked down the drain. So that's why a lot of people uh, frown against doing that because you're taking the best part of the first extraction of your coffee and dumping it down the drain. Okay. But basically you're hitting at a full pressure, then turning off the valve, and then turning it back on at a full pressure. Okay, so I don't want to put a caveat in all this, but I just wanted you to uh, just briefly mention um, the Slayer LP or maybe the Ranchilio Invicta because they're changing so, things. Yeah, so the Slayer EP. No, not the EP, the LP. Okay, so the Slayer LP and the Ranchilio Invicta, uh, they are doing, um, they are doing something it, different. Something different. So they're infusing the coffee at a low pressure. Uh, and that is based on time uh, with the with the LP Slayer LP. It's up to ten seconds with low pressure, and then uh, then you're hitting it with full pressure. So that gives it a time to saturate at low pressure without hitting it with full pressure. You you get to select a longer time. You have control over you the have, pressure. You have, you have control have... over the pressure. How much and how long? Uh, on the LP, it's a 2.5 bar. You can adjust it up to four bar. Uh, and then of course, our, your full brewing pressure is approximately nine bar. And then the Invicta, do you know? The Invicta, uh, we, we haven't played with that yet, so I don't know the exact parameters on it. Okay, stay tuned. All right, thank you. Thanks, Dave.